Hi. Friends welcome to Tech Blog and in this video, we will covering the access data types. In this video we'll also explain how to create tables by using datasheet, and table design of view. Every field in a table has properties, and these properties define the field's characteristics and behavior. The most important property for a field, is its data type. A field's data type determines, what kind of data, it can store. MS Access supports different types of data, each with a specific purpose. Here you can see project ID is the field name, and the auto number is its data type, and so on. Each time you have to select the data type from the drop down, or press the first character of data type from the keyboard. The data type determines the kind of the values, that users can store in any given field. Each field can store data, consisting of only, a single data type. Here are some of the most common data types, you will find used in a typical Microsoft Access database. Short text. It can store text or combinations of text, and numbers, including numbers that do not require calculating, for example phone numbers. It can store up to 255 characters. Long text. Commonly used for lengthy text, or combinations of text and numbers. It can store up to 63,999 characters. Number. Store numeric data used in mathematical calculations. It's consume 1, 2, 4, or 8 bytes, 16 bytes if set to replication ID. Date and time. Store date and time values for the years 100 through 9999. It's consume 8 bytes of memory. Currency. Currency values and numeric data, used in mathematical calculations, involving data with 1 to 4 decimal places. It also consumes 8 bytes of memory. Auto number. The unique sequential number incremented by one, or random number assigned by Microsoft Access, whenever a new record is added to a table. It consumes 4 bytes, 16 bytes if set to replication ID. Yes no. Yes and no values and fields that contain only one of two values, yes or no, true or false, on or off. It consumes one bit of memory. Here are some of the other more specialized data types, you can find in Access. Attachment. Files, such as digital photos, documents. Multiple files can be attached per record. This data type is not available in earlier versions of Access. File size up to about 2 GB. OLE objects. OLE objects can store, pictures, audio, video, or other blobs, binary large objects, up to about 2 GB. Hyperlink. Text or combinations of text and numbers, stored as text, and used as a hyperlink address. It can store up to 8192 characters, each part of the hyperlink data type can contain up to 2048 characters. Lookup Wizard The Lookup Wizard entry in the data type column in the design view is not actually a data type. When you choose this entry, the wizard starts to help you define either a simple or complex lookup field. A simple lookup field uses the contents of another table or a value list to validate the contents of a single value per row. A complex lookup field allows you to store multiple values of the same data type in each row. Calculated 
You can create an expression that uses data from one or more fields. You can designate different result data types from the expression. You can create an expression that uses data from one or more fields. You can designate different result data types from the expression. When you create a database, you store your data in tables. Because other database objects depend so heavily on tables, you should always start your design of a database by creating all of its tables and then creating any other object. Before you create tables, carefully consider your requirements and determine all the tables that you need. Let us try and create the first table that will store the basic contact information concerning the employees as shown in the following table. Access automatically opened up with the name table 1 and data sheet view. Let go to the field tab, and you will see that it is also automatically created. The ID which is an auto number field, acts as a unique identifier, and is the primary key for this table. The ID field has already been created, and we now want to rename it to suit our conditions. This is an employee table and this will be the unique identifier for our employees. A caption is the title of an object, that is viewable. If you want to set a caption for a field just put in the caption properties box. The description property is used to provide information about objects contained in the database window, as well as about individual table or query fields. Type first name, as the field name. Similarly, add all your other required fields as shown here. Now your table is ready, to store data. Go ahead, and put some data into the table. Once all the fields are added, click the save icon. You will now see the save as dialog box, where you can enter a table name for the table. Enter the name of your table in the table name field. Let's click OK and you will see your table in the navigation pane. As we have already created one table using data sheet view. We will now create another table using the table design view. These tables will store some of the information for various book projects. Go to the create tab. In the tables group, click on table designer and you can see this looks completely different from the data sheet view. In this view, you can see the field name and data type side by side. Create your table schema as per your requirements.
In field properties at the bottom, you can set format, caption, mask, default value etc. Once all the fields are added, click the save icon. You will now see the save as dialog box, where you can enter a table name for the table. Enter the name of your table in the table name field. Let's click OK and you will see your table in the navigation pane. Access asks to set a primary key. You have to set a field unique and primary. You can now see a little key icon that will show up next to that field. This shows that the field is part of the table's primary key. In next lesson we are covering building queries and query data. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe us. Have good day, bye bye.